A hypergeometric distribution is defined formally on this slide in the box here. But before looking at that formal definition, it's worthwhile thinking of the hypergeometric distribution in the framework of an urn model. So begin by drawing an urn. And this urn will contain capital N balls. They can be subdivided into two categories. First of all, M of them are successes. And N minus M of them are failures. It's up to you to determine what a success is and what a failure is. On the previous example from the previous slide, a success turned out to be a bad egg. So it can be a negative outcome. That's perfectly fine. But a success in that case was a bad egg. A random sample of n balls is drawn without replacement from the urn. So in, a, in an experiment where the hypergeometric distribution will come up, we take a random sample of n balls drawn without replacement. The meaning of random sample here is that on every stage of this sampling experiment, each of the balls in that urn is equally likely to be selected. The hypergeometric distribution comes up in a field of studies in a, in a field of study in applied statistics known as quality control. And in quality control there is a subfield that is known as acceptance sampling. And in acceptance sampling what you have is you have a lot size n That's the number of items that perhaps are being delivered to a consumer. And the consumer wants to test those items, but can't test all capital N of them. It would just take too long. So the consumer decides to take a sample size of little n. And from the results of the sample size of little n, they will either accept the lot or reject the lot. And so that's an industrial application known as quality control. Here is the formal definition, a discrete random variable x with probability mass function, f of x is. And here are the, in the denominator is capital N choose little n. That's the total number of samples that can be drawn out of the urn. And what we want is we want the probability of x successes. So out of the m successful items, we choose x of them. And out of the n minus m items that are not considered successes, we choose n minus x of those. One last thing, if you look at these two numbers in the top of the combinations in the num numerator, if you add the two top numbers, you get capital N. If you add the two bottom numbers in the combinations in the numerator, you get little n. And the support goes from 0, 1, 2, all the way up to lowercase n. That is good for some non-negative integer parameter n, the lot size some sample size that runs from 0 to capital N, and some number of successes in the urn running from 0 to N, then in that case this is a hypergeometric distribution. And this is our first distribution that has three parameters, little m, capital N, and little n.